All right, so the next assignment is to design your own print and put that into the 3D software. Um, last module, you guys just did a basic dot that I gave you. This time you're gonna design your own artwork and create a repeat tile. You do have the option of creating the repeat tile in Illustrator and just saving the PNG, which is what I have over here on the left. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to create the repeat tile in Clo, which maybe you might like better as a designer to actually see your artwork right on the garment. That might just, just be like, oh, more control as a designer. So, um, so I wanted to demo that. Um, the tricky part is, is you're gonna have to take all of your elements that you've drawn and they need to be separate PNG files. They need to have a clear, transparent background. So, um, so select each one individually. I have this flower right here, it's selected. The easiest way to do this is to grab your artboard tool on the left, give it a double click. Click, click, okay. Under preset, there's a drop down menu. You're gonna choose fit to selected art. Now sometimes for some people they have to scroll up, which is a little bit odd, but you'll find it, it's there. Fit to selected art, say okay. While your art is still selected, immediately go export it as a PNG. File, export, I like the bottom one, save for web, I think all three work. Um, make sure that you chose a PNG. You don't want JPEG, because JPEG's gonna have that solid background. Make sure the transparency box is selected as well. And you can click save. Probably the hardest part is naming it and remembering where to find it. Okay, so you wanna stay organized with that. So go ahead and do that for all the elements that you want in your prints. So you have a whole bunch of these PNGs ready to go, and then you can start placing them in Clo. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you to Clo now. I did provide a skirt that you can use. You can just open up that file and use that same skirt. You can design your own garment if you want. I know some of you guys are in the pattern drafting class where we're using 3D, that's totally fine. Um, if you wanna play around with the modular configurator, you can do that too. That's what I'm gonna do right now. So to get started, I'm gonna to go to the library and I'm gonna give myself a model. So I'm gonna open up the avatar, double click it. Um, I wanna use the modular configurator, so I need to use the version two avatar. So I'm gonna double click the female folder. Um, there we are, avatar modular, I'll double click that. And I have a lot of choices, so whatever one you want, I'll just do this middle one. We're choosing Grace. Okay, um, so now I can go to the configurator tab, kind of hidden on the left, and you can choose whatever block you want. Um, I, I have a woman avatar, so I'll open up that folder. We have some categories. I'll, I think I'll just keep it simple, do a t-shirt. I'll do the dropped one, give it a double click. And I can choose, you know, maybe I'll just do the basic collar. There's a little slider, and I'll do short sleeves. Okay, so I made a t-shirt, I have a garment that took just a few seconds. It's up to you, any garment you guys want for your print. This, so at the end of the day, this is gonna go in your portfolio, so kind of think about what represents you the best. Um, okay, for some reason, I have a lot of fabric. Um, I'm just gonna select them all, and I think I wanna give them all the same fabric, fabric number one. So I'm clicking fabric number one, and I'm dropping it, so I think that all of them now have the same fabric. I'm gonna click the sleeve. Yeah, it's fabric one. Okay, so that was kind of weird. I could probably like delete all these other ones just so I don't get confused. Oopsies, cancel. Oh, apparently I can't delete body, whatever. Um, okay, but they're all have under fabric one, which makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so I can click fabric one and now you guys did this with the dots. So from here, you're probably good to go. Um, but I'll just play around with a little you know, demo anyway. So under texture, we wanna look for that. Do you guys remember what it is? The texture editor window. So it's teeny, teeny little dot. Click it, here we go. So there's nothing here. I wonder if I should add a solid color background. So maybe right now I'm gonna say cancel and I'm gonna choose the color and I can just pick whatever background I think is good and I'll say okay. So now I'll go back to the texture and open up the editor window. Oh, it's not there, I thought it would be there, that's okay. Um, and I'll say add. Okay, let's go get that artwork. 
I'll do flower print number one, open. Okay, and then from here again, you guys can scale it, kind of place it where you want. Um, maybe I copy it and make another one. So now there's two of them. And maybe I do need to get rid of that background. I'll just say um, apply and close for right now. I'm gonna get rid of that background. Um, how to get rid of it? It needs to be the whitest white. And that's the same as none. There you go. Okay, well now I can see it a little bit better. Let's see here, I'm gonna zoom in. So it's pretty, so this is nice because you can really start to play with scale. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my editor tool. And you know what, maybe I'm gonna click the bottom flat or the top one. Maybe that's too small for my taste. Maybe I do kind of like it bigger, right? Um, maybe I'll add another one, number two. Place it wherever I think it needs to go. I do wish I could make this window bigger. I wonder, I don't know if there is a way to do that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, mm, Chloe, so user friendly. Um, maybe just to get more workspace on my screen, I can make these little things go to the side. Um, okay, I <laughs> just really want to see this. I can probably zoom out. I'm like just playing around with stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. That's easier for me. Okay, um, again, to rescale, it's this little guy. And you know, you can put it wherever you want. Ooh, it gets cut off, I don't like that. Okay, and we'll say copy. And let's see here, I really, you know what, I don't like that it's getting cut off. That's not good. Huh. There's probably a way for it not to do that. Oh, here we go. Let me do repeat tile on. Okay. Is that better? Is that what I'm looking for? I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. No, I'm still getting cut off. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there we are. Extend to the other side. Yes, thank you. Okay, that took a minute to find. That's everything. <laughs> so you've got to have that little box checked under the repeat. Yay. Whew. Okay, so let's go back to the flower. So you kind of have to get in the habit of clicking on this little list right here. Um, I guess I also need to check the box for each one individually. Okay, so let's make him a little bit bigger. Cool. I'm gonna go to the other flower. I'm also gonna check the extend to the other side. And then I probably need to also do that on the other leaf. I wish it would just default that way. Why wouldn't you want it to extend? Hmm. And it's just nice because you can see what does it look like over here. I'm gonna add my third element that I had. Okay, let's say open. Cool. So, I mean, this is cool because you can really just see in real time um, if you're happy with your print or not, which I love. And you could change the scale, all that good stuff. Maybe if you want to change the scale of the whole thing proportionately, I think there's a faster way to do it. But here, you know, you can do the scale individually. I'll just say, we'll say apply and close. Um, but to scale the whole thing, once you're like, oh, I like the composition, I like the layout, you can um, click it. I'm going to open up the project app. Uh, Project, Property Editor, <laughs> Object Browser. And it's um, gonna be these little tools right here, the Transform Graphic and Transform Edit Texture. So it's actually Edit Texture. And then, um, let's see here. Okay, we should be able to make it bigger. So that's kind of fun too. Yeah, it's just nice to see it in 3D, I think. It's a little bit more realistic. Um, as well. So anyways, that's your assignment. This time it's your original artwork that you're putting into repeat. Um, again, if you didn't want to do it in Clo, it is really easy to just do it in, um, what do you call it? In If you did it in Illustrator and you save that PNG, I'll just do that right now for you real quick. Uh, I'm going to click this back one. Is that, what fabric are you? I'm just going to say, is that you? Okay. 
So I'll do the body. So the body, we just go find your repeat tile, add print, click it. Remember, um, this was the repeat tile that I created in Illustrator in the previous video. There you go, and it's it's in here. So that's really fast too. You can also scale it as well with that edit tool. Let me go find my pattern. There we go. Oops. Uh, uh, let me select it one more time. Okay, edit texture. Huh, having trouble scaling it for whatever reason. Is it? Oh, maybe I have to click that. Okay, I love that when I make it look so easy. Maybe you can't. I'm sure you can scale it. Let's see here. Maybe it's this one then? Nope. Hmm. Odd. Clicking you. Huh. That's strange. Um... I'm sure you can scale it. I'm just giving you a really bad demonstration. <laughs> if not, you can always go to Illustrator and scale it there. Um, that's really funny. Okay, well, what if maybe I go to body, I pick the fabric, and maybe you add the texture under texture instead of the print. So maybe I'll trash the print, and we can go to texture, and we can say open the texture editor and we can add the PNG that way. Okay, and then from here, uh, mm, we don't wanna change it here because that's gonna mess up our repeat tile. So I'll just say apply and close, but let's see if it'll let us change the whole print. There we go. Yeah, and we still have our repeat, which is good. Maybe I'll make it smaller, just to double check. Let's make it a little ditzy, a cute little ditzy. Yeah, okay, so I guess instead of adding it as a print, it doesn't really let you change the scale um, very easily, um, but if you add it as a texture to the fabric, then you can change the scale pretty easily. So there's two ways. You can either do all of the repeat work in Illustrator or you can save them as PNGs and do the repeat work in Clo. So. I'm excited to see how this turns out and reach out if you guys have questions or get stuck on something or have suggestions to do it in an easy, even easier way.